Governor Blagojevich has decided in his infinite wisdom, even though he's under tremendous investigation and has already been indicted, this would be a terrific time to appoint a new senator for the state of Illinois. <laughs> People are saying, no, wait a minute, you can't, you're, no, what are you, crazy? You can't appoint someone. First of all, uh, already the uh, person who would have to sign off on this in, in Illinois is saying, I'm not even going to sign the papers to confirm that this person is a senator. And the person he has picked is Roland Burris, a longtime Democrat in Illinois, 74, 71-year-old African-American, lovely gentleman it appears, has also given some money to Blagojevich. I'm sure that has nothing to do with it. And apparently, Mr. Burris seems a little surprised by how much money he has given to Blagojevich, as you'll see in the press conference. I am here to announce my intention to appoint an individual who has unquestioned integrity, extensive experience, and is a wise and distinguished senior statesman of Illinois. This man actually once was an opponent of mine for governor. So I'm here today to announce that I am appointing Roland Burris as the next United States Senator from Illinois. And this is one process. I'm honored that I have been appointed, and we will deal with the next step in the process. All right, next step in the process is the next question you got at the press conference. Let's continue to have fun. How long have you been in discussions about this entity? Was it before or after the, the charges came down? Well, I had uh, talked with the governor on Sunday night when he asked if, if he would appoint me, would I accept? And my answer was yes. Burris, Mr. Burris, uh, up, up till now, virtually every elected official in the state of Illinois has weighed in on the problems of the last few weeks. Do you believe Governor Blagojevich should continue in office, or would you feel that he should resign? I have no comment on what the governor's circumstance is. And as a former attorney general of this state, I know, and I think most of you all know, that in this legal process, you're innocent until you're proven guilty. Your, your law firm, your lobbying firm, you yourself personally have contributed uh, well over, I believe, it's fourteen thousand dollars. Is it that much? Blagojevich. Yes. Wow, did that's that a lot of money, folks. Did that play a role in your appointment? And should we should we suspect that it might? Oh, how, how, how much did you say? Fourteen thousand? Well, I got to check my records because I didn't I didn't think it was that much because we didn't have that much money to give to the governor. From the state of Illinois, your law firm, your businesses, your colleagues, your affiliates in the last six years. And, and, and for me, from whether it's the state of Illinois or any of these things, have you received? We had a, that is, the consulting firm had a small contract, we had a contract with IDOT where we certified minority businesses and we did a good job. And I think the law firm, of which I'm of counsel, that was my son's law firm, and we received uh, uh, some bond business, and we were co-bond counsel as a minority firm, and they did a tremendous job. Hmm. No, but that doesn't probably reflect any conflict of interest or anything like that. Oh, did we get business from the governor? Or did we? Oh, 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 oh and we gave him $14,000? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that Are you sure it's 14000 <laughs> By the way, he gave a donation of a personal donation of four thousand five hundred dollars to Blagojevich's campaign fund um, in June of this year, when Blagojevich was knee deep in the investigation, when it was already patently obvious how crooked Blagojevich was. Now that was before he was trying to sell the Senate seat, obviously, but he was already under investigation for many other things. That's why he was being wiretapped. And then at the press conference, my man Roland Burr says. Blagoy? How do you pronounce Blagojevich? I never heard of that guy. What do you mean? Oh, he's under investigation? Oh, no, I got no comment on that. No, no, no. That's not my business. He's the guy who just appointed you. What do you mean you don't have any comment on it? Oh, that's great, man. And he's like, look, 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 look. Innocent until proven guilty. And until he's proven guilty, he appointed me. <laughs> Dance it. Show it. All right. Let me remind you that... The state of Illinois and the people of the state of Illinois in their collective wisdom have sent two African Americans to the U.S. Senate. That makes a difference. We need to have not just one African American in the U.S. Senate. We need to have many African Americans 
in the U.S. Senate. So I applaud the governor for his decision. And I would ask you to not hang or lynch the appointee as you try to castigate the appointor. Separate, if you will, the appointee from the appointor. <laughs> now, now, wait a minute now. Do not, you got to separate the appointee from the appointor. <laughs> well, one of my questions is, do they really mean it? Like, I mean, do they, like, these three musketeers that got up there today, they think, like, we're going to get away with this? Like, this is, good, this is a good idea. Hey, hey, I know the guy who appointed him is massively corrupt. Maybe the most corrupt guy in the country. But we'll just separate the appointor from the appointee and it'll all work out. Second thing is, man, they had to go and make this thing racial, don't it? I mean, that was, that was interesting right there what happened. And it's partly smart for Blagojevich to be like, look, here's a guy who's got my back to some degree. I'll point him and say, oh, whoa, 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 what are you going to do? You're going to attack a black man? Is that what you're going to do? Oh, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. And then Bobby Rush had to go and say, they're going to, don't hang or lynch this guy. Hey, hey, hey. Now, hold up. Now, now that's not, now you went from being funny to being ridiculous. So step back from that, okay? Now, if he appointed a, a green dude, we wouldn't be happy with that. We would not be happy with he's a white guy, a black guy, an Asian guy, or a Pakistani. We don't give a damn, right? We care about the appointor. And by the way, Bobby Rush, man, Jesus and Lord mercy, you must have been in there for a while. We've got to get some new blood. I could hardly hear that gentleman.